assalamu alaikum today we will discuss the absorption and transport of iron from the intestine into the circulation by the enterocyte the absorption of iron take place in the enterocyte and the process starts from the iron that is coming into two form that is the heme form and the non heme form the heme iron is the ferrous iron that is coming from the animal source while the ferric iron is the non heme iron that is coming from the plant source the heme iron is better absorbed as compared to the non heme iron so the metabolism start when the non heme iron is coming into the enterocyte from the interstitial lumen this non heme iron is in the ferric form first it should be converted into ferrous form to get absorbed for the conversion of the ferric to ferrous form this required the duodenal cytochrome c duodenal cytochrome enzyme for the conversion of ferric to ferrous and the vitamin c act as a coenzyme which regulate the enzyme then the ferrous form get entry into the enterocyte from the another transporter is called as the divalent matter transporter 1 which transport the ferrous ion of the iron inside the enterocyte while on the another pathway the heme iron that we have said that is better absorbed is directly absorbed from the interstitial lumen into the enterocyte by the heme carrier protein this heme iron is also in the ferrous form and the iron coming from the non heme protein has been converted into the ferrous form outside the enterocyte so these both iron are now in the ferrous form then these iron have two pathway to go inside the enterocyte and in the circulation to get absorbed the two pathways are first the ferrous ion can be converted into the ferric ion and get absorbed by the ferritin protein the ferritin is a protein which carry 4500 ferric ion with itself and absorb in the enterocyte so this is storage form of the iron this ferric ion is converted into ferric and get absorbed as a ferritin inside the enterocyte this is a one pathway the another pathway for the ferric ion is to follow is to go outside the enterocyte into the circulation by passing through a ferroportin it is another transporter to get outside of the enterocyte as there are two transporter the divalent metal ion transporter at the entry of the enterocyte and ferroportin at the exit of the enterocyte this ferroportin have to convert the ferrous ion into the ferric ion again outside the enterocyte and to get its transport by the transferrin this transferrin am transport to fer ferric ion per molecule and this is the transport form of the iron that transport the iron into the plasma so this is the whole cycle in which you have to remember two things that the ferric ion for the uh, the iron for the absorption should be in the ferrous ion you can see here the iron entering from the outside is both in the ferrous ferrous state means plus 2 state the valency of the iron is plus 2 for the absorption and for the transport and for the storage the storage form is the ferritin and transport form is the transferrin so for these two forms the iron should be in the ferric state the ferric state which has the valency of plus 3 also when the iron is transporting outside the ferroportin is regulated by two more coenzymes the hepcidin that regulates the ferroportin and the hepcidin that regulate and maintain the homeostasis of the iron